let's just load the actual images and I already created here a res folder for resources and into this res folder I copied two PNG files one is the letter x.png and the second is the letter o.png and both of these files are 200 by 200 in size, so 200 uh, and by 200 pixels. And of course, uh, the grid itself, as I said earlier, has also uh, each of these cell, each of these rectangle is also 200 by 200. So these images will fit nicely into these cells. So here I am in the grid.py and I'm also going to import here the OS module and load the first uh, image which is the letter X so letter X and it will equal to the pygame.image.load uh, function and I'm going to use the OS.pat at that join method that join and first the folder which is called a res and second the image name so letter x and I'm going to duplicate this and create a letter uh, O it is also in the res folder and it called letter O and don't forget to add the file extension .png here also .png and now that we loaded the two letters I mean the two PNG files here in the draw method I'm going to draw the grid so I'm going to create a nested for loop so for y in um, in range and the length of the self dot grid this is the outer loop and now I'm going to create an inner loops for x in range also length of self dot grid but this time cell.grid at index y so as I say this is a two-dimensional grid so that's why we need a nested for loop here the outer loop this goes through each element of the outer or the main uh, list and uh, this inner for loop goes into the inner lists so uh, I'm going to just pass here and as you can see the outer for loop will get all the lists inside the main list or in, inside the main grid and the inner for loop will get all the elements so the x the zero the zero then also the zero 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 and so forth and so forth and so on so and in the inner for loop I'm going to create an if statement so if self dot get cell value at x and y equals an x then we are going to bleed to the surface the letter x so surface that bleed that bleed the letter x and the position should be x times 200 remember it is the um, images size and also the cell size and y time times 200 and I'm also going to create an elif for the letter O, so self that get cell value at x and y, and it's equals to uh, O. Then surface that bleed 
the letter O, letter O, and its position should be also x times 200 and y times 200. So now let me try it. Okay, now it places an x, then it should place an, an O, an x, an O, and it also places in the correct position, so it, it, it is inside the cell. No, an x, an O, okay. The next thing uh, I want to show you is that I can overwrite the cells, so here is an x, or yes, and if I click, in, click on it uh, once again, it will change to an O. And once again it changes back to X, so to prevent this behavior I'm going to, here in the getMouse method, I'm going to ask, so if self.get cell value on position X and Y is equals to zero, only then execute these lines. So now, if I click on a, on a cell, it changes to X, and I click once again, it doesn't uh, overwrite it. And the next problem we have is, as you can see, uh, it doesn't let overwrite the cell itself, but the player still changes to, to from X to O and back to X. So to actually prevent this, so that after X comes the O, not not uh, <laughs> not the O again or not the X again. To, I'm going to create here a variable and. It, I will call it switch underscore player player switch player and it will be a boolean so switch player equals true and here so if the cell that get cell value is zero then do all of this and if it is not, so else, I'm going to set the self that switch player to false. And here also, after after it is a zero, I'm going to set it to switch player to true. And in the game, I'm only going to switch the players if the grid that switch player is true. So if grid that switch player, then only then switch the players. And let me take a look. So now I have an X and if I click once again, it doesn't switch the player. So here I can place an O. X, O, X and O. Okay, I think uh, the last functionality will be to add to actually check for full rows or full uh, columns or also check for diagonally.